this is Mary Ann Lissenby and I'm from Houston, Texas. This video is a follow-up to a video that I did a couple of days ago about uh, Magic Toilet Brush and or Magic Toilet Bar. And this was um, a video I did about a marketing lesson that I learned from a, a mail order purchase that I made. Um, maybe I should say it's a marketing lesson I thought that I learned. Uh, because on, um, on that video, uh, which I'll put a little annotation thing here, and you can click on that little annotation if you want to watch the other video. But on the other video, I talked about how the marketing lesson that I thought that I had learned was that um, ad placement was so important and also that copy is king. But really, uh, when I read the, some of the other comments that people made on my video, I think I actually may have missed the point, the point entirely. Um, in fact, Dennis Carganilla, uh, my mentor and good friend, uh, Dennis, said that he really thought that the lesson from that, um, that other video was the fact that people are always looking for a magic fix or a magic tool that can just make everything better in their business and uh, where they don't have to do any work. And then another person uh, named, I think her name was Lavina from Live, uh, let's see, her name, oops, sorry, her name was Lavina from Live Fantastico TV. Um, anyway, she made a comment and she said, uh, whatever happened to good old fashioned Clorox and elbow grease? And I uh, said, the moral of this story, uh, let's get back to the basics. And when I, you know, when I read both of these two comments, uh, my first response was actually to get somewhat defensive because I was thinking, no, that's not it at all. You guys don't understand. I have hard water. That's why it's hard to, to, uh, to keep my toilet bowl clean. And uh, it's hard to keep because of the hard water. And then it just kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. It was like, man, that is the lesson. You know, it is that, that it, everyone's looking for a magic fix and uh, they all just want something quick and easy. And just like me, what most people do, instead of facing up to that fact, all they want to do is make excuses uh, for the reason that they're not wanting to do the hard work. And, you know, in my case, yeah, it's legitimate. We do have hard water and the hard water is really tough on fixtures. Um, but is it impossible to keep things perfect? Uh, no, it's not. It takes a lot more hard work than somebody that has filtered water, but it's not impossible. And it's sort of just like with internet marketing. Um, some people it comes really natural to, um, other people it takes, and even the people it comes really natural to, it does take work, but then other people it's harder. Uh, and they have a choice, they can either give up or they can work harder. Um, so anyway, I just kind of wanted to come back and, and do a follow-up to that and um, say that the real marketing lesson to be learned here is that diligence pays off and that hard work is required if you want to be successful online or in anything in life. Um, once again, my name is Marianne Lisenby and I will be blogging about things like this and other uh, matters about internet marketing. So if you'd like to visit my blog, that's, or let's say not if you'd like to, but hey, why don't you visit my blog and comment on this video. My blog is maryannlisenby.net. Thanks and you have an excellent day.